I was introduced to sex in the stupidest way <laughs> and probably the way that most people were through my dad's like prawn collection, basically, or his corn collection, we'll say. And, and I mean, and it was it was not good. <laughs> it was not good stuff. It was like the 1970s, you know, sepia tone, Debbie does Dallas, Harry hustler. You know, it, no child should be forced to be introduced to to X in that way. And so I, I'm going to go ahead and actually just kind of shout out why that speaks to me. So one of the courses that I wanted to do is all about, you know, intercourse. So the sixth course I want to build is called Intercourse Discourse. And we're going to, you know, teach adults about X in a really, really a positive way so that, you know, hopefully they don't have a lot of materials around that their kids happen upon. But yeah, so that was kind of the silliest way to, I think, to be introduced to X. When was your first time seeing like a porno? <laughs> Me? So my parents actually, I would see crazy movies in my youth, but it wasn't porn, but it was from the 70s. And, you know, X was prevalent in these films. So like Caligula. <laughs> um, what was that? <laughs> wow. I've seen, I've seen some things. Um <laughs> Oh, I remember, um, I actually saw a Karma Sutra book in the basement of my oh house. My and I was like, what is this? I was, I was pretty young. I don't know how young, but it was from when my mom was in college. So, I mean, that was what I saw. Wow. Yeah, no, that's, that reminds me of a conversation we had with, in our Black Lesbians podcast, um, mm -hmm. where we were just talking about how when we were all little, like it was three of us on that chat and each one of us had a moment when we were little kids that we, you know, played house <laughs> with another little girl. And that was one of the things that, that I happened upon when I was a kid, I had a, a little girlfriend and her mom had the art of sex and that book. <laughs> yeah. My mom gifted me that book when I was in college. But no! <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's, 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 that's some raunch right there. So I don't know. I feel like if we, again, had better materials as adults than our kids, <laughs> we're probably coming to it a little better, even if they happened to pun those things. But yeah. Yeah. yeah go ahead. What? It's like, what, what, when is an okay time to present these materials to your child? When is it okay? <laughs> well, well, now people are seeing everywhere it's all over the internet all over the internet true 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 so, so it's kind of like know. yeah it's a bit different than you know when we grew up that's true that's true so i guess like you know that's a that's a whole topic into itself we're gonna keep moving because i that's opening a, a huge can of worms of how in the internet age do children you know get in you know into this knowledge on, on their own but yeah we'll We'll keep it going because this is going to open up some some stuff. Because I have kids now too. I'm like, oh wait a minute, <laughs> uh -huh. I'm gonna think about that. 